I'm tempted to say smart, creative people have no particularly different set of character traits than the rest of us, except for being smart and creative, and those being character traits. And then on the other hand, I wrote a biography of Richard Feynman and a biography of Isaac Newton. Now there are two great scientific geniuses whose characters were in some superficial ways completely different. Isaac Newton was solitary, antisocial, I think unpleasant, um, bitter, fought with his friends as much as with his enemies. Richard Feynman was gregarious, funny, a great dancer, uh, loved women. Isaac Newton, I believe, never had sex. Richard Feynman, I believe, had plenty. Um, so you can't generalize there. On the other hand, they were both, as I tried to get in their heads, understand their minds, the, the nature of their genius, I sort of felt I was seeing things that they had in common. And, and they were things that had to do with aloneness. Um, Newton was much more obviously alone than Feynman, but Feynman didn't particularly work well with others. Uh, he was known as a great teacher, but he wasn't a great teacher, I don't think, one-on-one. -on -one. I think he was a great lecturer. I think he was a great communicator. But when it came time to make the great discoveries of science, he was alone in his head. And now I'm talking, when I say he, I mean both Feynman and Newton. And this applies also, I think, to the, the geniuses um, that I write about in the information. Charles Babbage, Alan Turing, Ada Byron. They all had the ability to concentrate with a sort of intensity that is um, hard for mortals like me to grasp. A kind of um, passion, a passion for abstraction uh, that doesn't lend itself to easy communication, I don't think.